B1 and R! Hey, do you want to learn how to play He Wants It All by Flea Jones on a Hungry Hungry Hippo game? Me either! Shout out to Fale Tung 31 who requested this song. I hope I pronounced your name right. But you rock, man! So, for this song, we are in the key of E flat. Now the thing is, you if you want to play it in that key of E flat, you are going to need a capo, but it's kind of annoying if you don't have a capo, but you still want to learn it. So we're actually going to lose the capo, and we are going to play it in the key of C. And my thinking behind that is that, if you learn it like this, and you've got a capo, put your capo on the third fret and play it exactly as I've taught you. Okay, and that will take you back to the original key. But for those who don't have a capo, let's just learn it in the key of C. Okay? It's going to be ex played exactly the same way. Alright, so let's start off with our intro. Um, we are going to play an open E string on the 6th fret. Okay, hammer on to the 1st fret. And you're going to play those two together, okay, that is your third fret of your G and your first fret of your B string. At the same time, you're going to pluck the bass note, the open E, okay, to give you that sound. Okay, hear that? Okay, so pluck the bass once, but then you're going to play these twice, the top strings. Okay, then you're going to, again, this time you're going to move your thumb up to the first fret to play this F bass. At the same time, you're going to play these bottom two one more time. Two times, actually. Two to every one bass note, if that makes sense. So, bass and then twice, and then move to the F and play the top two twice. And then move your bass to the G note, okay, which is on the third fret, using our ring finger to the third fret. Okay, and keeping those two there to give you that sound. It's like a G suspended sort of sound. So, really slowly. Okay, then the second half of the intro, we're going to do that again. Same thing. This time, our basic note is the open A string. Okay. And this time, you're only going to play those two notes once. And then you're going to play the B string by itself. Okay, the first fret of the B string. Then... You're going to pluck an open E bass while playing those notes there. Like it's like an A minor seventh, but we've got this E bass. Okay, so A minor seventh. So it's like an A minor, but you take off your ring finger. Okay. Okay, so that is bass. Then you're going to land on this F. <coughs> I don't know what it is. Major seventh, second something. So um, that's like an F, but uh, but we're gonna leave that open. So if you can't see what's going on there, first finger goes to the first fret of our B string, and then these two are gonna go to our third fret of our D string and A string, and that's it. Don't play this open E. Don't play the bass. Okay, and you're gonna let it ring open. Beautiful sounding chord. Then you're going to reach up um, to finish that off, and you're going to play an F suspended uh, an octave higher, which is uh, barring these two strings on the, uh, what fret are we here, on the 8th, and ring finger goes to the 10th uh, fret of the G. Okay, and you're going to, 1, 2, 3, okay. So... Remember second time A bass. Okay, and then we're gonna reach up and play that um, an octave higher thing. Bearing in mind that this is basically trying to replicate what the piano was doing. Okay, it's probably gonna take some practice. Sorry.
Alright, and that is our intro. That leads us into our verse. And, uh, okay, and the chords are really simple. What's going on here is we've got a C with an E bass. Okay. okay, and then it moves to an F. So from the C, all you're going to do is move these two fingers. Okay, that's the middle and ring finger. Going to move them down a string each. Okay, so they're up here for a C, but with that bass. Then they move down a string each, and our thumb moves over to play that F bass. Okay, so. And then a G suspended, which is um, ring finger goes up to play the G bass, and everything else comes off except this one, which stays there throughout the whole, those uh, all three chords. So. And then again, and then here is where it changes. We're going to go to A minor seven. Okay, with the open A bass. Okay, we're going to go D minor seventh. So by the seventh fret, and then the A minor seventh shape above it, which is sixth fret of the B and seventh fret of the D string. Okay, so. And then it has this weird chord, he wants, and I don't know what it is. You could honestly, he, and that would work too. So you go D minor seventh, move it down one fret. This time you're only going to play the C sharp bass and the G and the B string. So go there, oh, he wants it all. Okay, and land on this A minor seventh, which is barring the fifth fret completely, and just bass and then these three fingers. Okay. So give it all, oh, he wants it all. I know that's strange, but that's what I can hear. <clears throat> so the verse again, C with the E, F with the, then a G sus. <laughs> Random fact! Did you know that a housefly always hums the note if random fire. Okay, and now uh, the verse repeats, but we're going to skip to the the pre-chorus chorusy part, which is okay, goes to the G, which is just the G chord, which you guys should already know. Love me, and then A minor, love, A minor seven, love me, and I'm using that F chord that I um, from the intro. But you could just do like an F is fine or an F major seventh. Okay, but if you want to really impress your friends, let's go with this F that I showed you. So G, so again, for the chorus and all those other parts, basically the chords are G, A minor, seventh. That F. What's it all day? Today. He wants it all today. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, okay. And that's again over and over. Even for that bridge. And again, if you were accompanying someone acoustically, it's, it'll probably be best to do like some plucking I reckon with your right hand figure out some some plucking patterns that work it's an absolutely beautiful song so I um, have that sort of stuff now um, that is the chords for all of it the only thing I can think of is uh, for that part where it goes to the pre-chorus so we're going I reckon that would be a cool, it's like a D diminished seven. Okay, so to play that, let's have an open D bass on the fourth string, then um, have first finger on the G string, first and ring finger on the first of the E. Okay, so you've got that open second, okay, 
but that's quite a cool D diminishment. I thought that would be cool to go from there back to the A minor, to lead into the A minor. So you could go, um, okay, it's quite a fast change from that D diminished seventh to the A minor seventh. Alright, awesome. Thanks for watching, don't forget to comment below about what song you want me to teach you next. Subscribe for new videos every week and God bless you guys, I love you. And like us on Facebook!